Hey YouTube, this is a VR response to uh, Mr. 45 Bullet 10,000 sub giveaway. Uh, his, he wanted us to make any video we wanted and uh, sub to the Lock and Load channel, which I have been sub to him for quite a while now. So uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to show my uh, complete handgun collection. Of course this changes from time to time. I don't want to make it too long, so I'll start with the Glocks. I got three Glocks. Uh, the first one is a Glock uh, 2740 caliber. Uh, that's my daily carry. One of my daily carries. I carry a lot in the summer mostly. Uh, the next one is the Glock 36 45 ACP. Uh, that is my winter carry for the most part. Uh, love that gun. It shoots great. Love the caliber. Uh, and this is my slightly customized uh, Glock 19 Generation 2. It's, um, it was my son's service uh, revolver. He was a police officer in Washington, D.C. And I added some of your custom extended controls plus a uh, compensated uh, barrel from Wolf. Not any Wolf, it's from uh, some other one. I can't remember. But... Um, Anyway, that's um, he bought that in 1989, I think. I'm pretty sure he carried it for seven years in D.C.'s and Florida now. That gun shoots great. I'll probably shoot that one better than I do any of them. <coughs> okay, that's my Glocks. And uh, I got a uh, Ruger collection. The first one is um, Ruger Vaquero, the first Vaquero they come out with. It's got a Beasley handle. It's a Beasley, so it's got the extra handle on it. It's 44 Magnum, and it's got the Beasley uh, hammer on it, which makes it easy to cock. Uh, the next one is my favorite. I said in another on the video is uh, that's also the first Vaquero, 45 Long Colt, totally customized by me. It's got a brass frame, a custom cylinder. And you can't see a lot of the work I did on the inside, but it's all custom and tuned action in it, too. Did all the work myself. The next one is the Nuka Vaquero. That is uh, 45 long cold also. The next one is 357 Blackhawk. This has all got a custom parts in it, too, and uh, fine-tuned, smooth action. Now, I did this for a buddy of mine. Had me do it, and then... I ended up getting it back, traded him out of it, so I got my custom work back in that. The next one is Ruger uh, 22. It's got, I got a uh, stainless cylinder. Uh, this is a 22 Magnum cylinder. I also have the 22 long rifle, um, pearl handle, orientation pearl. Next one is a 44 Magnum, or excuse me, 44 black powder. Um, I use this a lot when a black powder hunt, which I don't do anymore, but it's all stainless, nice gun, Ruger. And my, uh, that's my uh, backup gun and occasional carry when I don't want uh, something bulky. Uh, Ruger LCP 380, nice little gun, it's got a laser on it, laser guard. Uh, the next one. Is a Smith & Wesson Airweight titanium cylinder 357 or 38. I have carried that on occasion, but I carry Glocks mostly. And the next one is my cheap American Classic 2, 45 ACP. And I got a video on this too. This gun fires flawless. It's accurate. Uh, it takes some cheap mags from cheaper and dirt. It's got 595 mags in it. $5.95. Eats everything, never fail. I mean, shoot just as good as any high-end guns. It don't look as good. The finish it ain't as good, but I bought it for a shooter, and that's what it is. And my little uh, Beretta 25 single-action automatic. Of course, um, 25 ain't real good for uh, self-defense, but it might, it might piss somebody off. I don't know. Okay, the next two guns is 
kind of sentimental. This one is a Rossi 22. It used to be my dad's. I don't know why he ever got it for, but it's uh, it must have a 30 pound trigger pull on. I mean to tell you, it's got a heavy trigger pull. I don't ever plan to shoot it anyways, uh, but just my dad's. This one here is a 32 H and R Harrison Richards, 32 uh, long. Uh, this was my mother's gun. I took her and bought it in 1982, and she carried it for many years until she could got to where she couldn't get around, and she gave it to me. But that also has a sentimental value. And that's about all my uh, handgun collection. Uh, as you can tell, I like Rugers and Glocks. I'm probably get some more of each eventually. I would imagine. I'd like to get a couple more Glocks. I'd like to have full size 45, but uh, as the money permits. Uh, and I just can't. I got to comment on this again. <laughs> this is a cheap 45, but I swear to God, I tested against my buddy's Colt uh, and my other buddy's Kimber. I've shot it. It don't shoot no better. This thing shoots good. I did a little bit of custom. I got a full length guide rod and I, I put the uh, stainless steel thing air on it. But other than that, it shoots them cheap mag. And I've shot everything in it. Uh, metal uh, metal case, wolf ammo, Tulamo, Winchester, hollow points, different. It shot everything. Never failed once. And I'd like to have an Ed Brown, but I ain't going to pay for that much money for it. <clears throat> And I guarantee you, Ed Brad ain't going to shoot no better than this one. I don't see how he could. But anyway, that's my uh, little handgun collection. I got several rifles and shotgun. I'll probably do some on them uh, eventually. Do a slow video here. And that's about it. I'll probably run too long on this video anyway. Anyway, I hope you get a lot more uh, subs, Mr. 45 Bullet, and like and load channels. i uh, got a good channel, too. You got to check him out. Uh, everybody have a nice day. I'm out.